Good afternoon from Bangalore Road, Phuket. The beautiful Phuket. How long for? I'm not sure. It looks like it's going to rain. If you're driving about in Phuket, be careful because there's roadblocks everywhere. The police are out in force today. It looks like they're pulling everyone. So yeah, make sure you have your international driving license and don't drink, smell a drink. Or they'll have you. Big fines. Don't drive drunk. That's a biggie in uh, Phuket. It's too easy. Right, let's have a walk down Bangalore Road and then down, down the beach, down Patong Beach. Let's check it out, see what's going on. There's Lone Bar. Let's see how much you, uh, you get shooting ranges here. Can I just have a look at that? Thirty baht for a target. Paper free. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. Wow. Have a look. Smith and Weston, Remington. There's some mean guns right there. Cup and cup. And that's at the uh, Patong shooting range over there and it looks like there's a big market over there as well on be on a night i'll do a night walk as well at some point but i just want to have a look down at the date i'm i only got here last night show you what bangla road and patong's like today there's a big market in there all the fakes and one of you. This isn't a market blog. Forty shirts. It's uh, nearly one o'clock in the afternoon. But it's uh, there's still a lot, of, a lot of the bars are all open. Everyone's out. So it's very busy, very busy. It's massive hard in Phuket. I was here in uh, 2006, so 17 years ago, and it's massive change, massive change. I love Lusian. I won't be shouting out all the bars because uh, <laughs> there's loads, absolutely loads. I've never seen so many weed shops either and stalls and just people just pop up and start selling weed from a little stall. Yes. Sorry, Cap, mate. Sorry, Cap. Where are you from? Mate? I'm from England, mate. You mean? England. England? Yeah, yeah. You want some more cannabis? I'm okay, mate. Thank you. Okay. Looks good, though. Thank you, come cop. Nice man. The weed didn't look very good. <laughs> very brown. Loads of exchanges. If you are going to get some exchange on here, I always say avoid the tourist places. But there is a super rich at the bottom of Bangalore Road. And that's where you'll get the best, uh, the best exchange rate. Probably in Phuket. It is in Bangkok. I need a hat like that. I'm back to you. That's shopping side. I'm okay, thank you, mate. This okay. This still okay. We've got plenty of gear. There's a little BB gun range. 
That shooting range at the top. <laughs> I'm all right. That shooting range at the top. They're pro proper guns. They're not BB guns. They're real guns. There's one of your BB ones. Yeah, there's plenty going on in Bangalore Road. On a night, oh, uh, you won't be able to walk down here. When you're able to walk, but it'll be toe to toe. I'll, um, like I said, I'll do a night life. I'll do a walkthrough on the night because it's all lit up. It looks really good. I'm trying to do a sharp walk past the music there. <laughs> I've got 15 seconds apparently. Hopefully, all the different bars and music will blend in. And you don't get it. Loads of bars. There's an Irish bar. I'm okay mate, thank you. He's doing zip lines. I'm okay buddy, thanks. See what I mean by the weed shops? There's five shops there and three of them are weed. Must be good custom. Oh, look at that. Hello. Hundred and twenty baht. That's another thing about uh, obviously being in the main touristy area, probably in Thailand, arguably. Um, you're paying for it. You're paying the price for being here. Everything's more expensive. If you remember in um, in Kanchanaburi, I got a kebab there for thirty-five baht. It's hundred and twenty. So you, you can see the difference. They're usually kicking on about sixty baht. That's the average price. So yeah, you're paying double. But that's the price you pay for being in Phuket and seeing this. Now, depending on how this trip goes and how many people watch, depending on where I go from here, I'd like to go to the other islands, Koh Phangan, Koh Samui. But you, the viewers, will be the judge on that. <laughs> now, the few of the lads who I've come here with in 2006 watched the channel. So I'm going to show you where we stayed. Back in 2006, 17 years ago, still here. I was disappointed when I was walking up first because I thought it was uh, that place that's been knocked down, obviously. Someone's getting rebuilt there. But no, it's that pink bad boy there. Oop, walked into a bike. <laughs> Patong Legend Hotel. And I was staying in that room there on the end. Because I remember I used to sit on that balcony at the top 17 years ago. It's still here. Most of the places I've stayed when I've been in Thailand, uh, you go back and they've been knocked down. A lot of construction going on in Thailand. Very fast going country. I've got a moped off the, uh, the place where I'm staying, the Brown Boutique. I'll do a vlog on that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a beauty. It's a Honda Click 160, brand new. Uh, the, the hotel itself has only been open for three months and they're really really nice people they, you, you, they can't do enough for you anything that you want they're really really nice people
we're going to watch it higher in jet skis here you've probably already heard about all this but they've usually or not all the times and i'm not just including this to phuket it's all over thailand um if you don't have a good look at the jet ski beforehand get some camera photos of it get out of the water and see if it's got any marks on it because then when you get back they'll get out of the water and they'll be marked on and they'll blame you and then you can't get out of it they're, they're, they're protected by the police and everything then you'll pay a large large fine uh, i've even heard of where they put water soluble paint on the uh, over marks that are up, existing marks so you don't see it when it's out of the water when you're looking at it and then as soon as you go in the water the paint comes off and then when you come back they get out the water and the marks there so yeah you've got to be really really careful with the jet skis beautiful beach them clouds hello <laughs> the joys of being on the beach let's see what's going on a bit higher up see if I get some prices on the jet skis and the uh, parasailing See a fruit shake, 100, 150 baht. 150 baht. Wow, that's what you pay for sitting on the beach. I've seen them in shops for 30 baht. You pay five times more for being on the beach. I don't know how long I'm going to be staying in Patong. Uh, I, it's a massive island, Phuket. Really big. It's the biggest in Thailand, the biggest island in Thailand. So I'll be taking it from here. I'll probably head further south uh, and then try and cover as much of the island as possible without overrunning it, you know. There's your toilet right in the middle of the beach. 10 baht. 20 baht if you want a shower. Like you say, on a night it'll be a totally different place this. Really, really busy down here where you have all the freelancers there's Mackie D's Molly's Tavern Irish Bar there you go, there's the prices 1500 back for 30 minutes now you can read that can you Oh no, I'm okay mate, thank you. There's plenty of people pushing the jet skis, they're all over the place. We must have about 20 different companies all down. Very clean, that's noticeable down here. Very, very clean. In fact, there's someone just here now, doing the cleaning. That's good. That's good to see, especially uh, even in low season. They're keeping it all nice and clean. Here's the parasailing and the banana boat. Is it a banana boat? The strum. Oh, that's the banana boat. No, I'm okay, mate. Thank you. Same time, you can't take me off. Ah, some good prices. What's that? Same time, you can't take me off. Ah, I have on, on, on the beach, just ski, but I shoot banana moat song. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You take me off. Ah, it's okay, man. Cheers. Thank you. Come, come. 
Yeah, there's plenty of them. Parasailing is good. I did that in a. Uh, where to do that? Patty, I think. What? Not on this trip. Uh, about 2016, I think it was, with my mate Ian. Ian, if you're watching, miss you, mate. Oh, Cole Noble, thanks for buying me a copy. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. All helps towards the channel. Massively, really does. And to everybody who watches. If you know any of your friends who might like the content, please share. Let's get the channel up and running. Then I can get to further places. More experiences. There's someone doing the parasailing. Oh, there's another one. Fifteen hundred baht. Can't really complain. I might do it. We'll see. All the way down uh, the beach road as well. You've got all the soys streets. And they've got loads of bars on either side. They'll be like all your girly bars. There's the banana. I think they'll all be the same prices, yeah. Yeah, they're all the same prices. It's strange, very strange being here after 17 years, seeing how things have changed and trying to remember things. I can feel the rain. Definitely looks like it's going to come down. Right, we're just getting down to the end of the road, end of the beach. Well, I hope you enjoyed today. Nice little walk down Bangor Road. See what Patong Beach is like. Anybody who's been before, they'll be able to. Uh, Remember places I've been there, I've been there. <laughs> That's what I feel like now to be here 17 years ago. Did I mention that? <laughs> Thanks again for watching, especially watching till the end. That's what's going to make the channel grow. YouTube see that and then they'll push the video more. They'll put, yeah, they'll push the channel. And uh, like I say, uh, if any of your friends know, subscribe. And let's get this channel up and running. More countries, more experiences, more for you to see. Food! <laughs> Have a good day.